All right. <clears throat> Hello, folks. Welcome back to the channel. Here we're talking. I'm gonna take a look at this car right here, the uh, Civic, uh, 2000 Civic Type R. Well, got a 2.9 V8 in it. Uh, Zoda 60 1.93, uh, 700 max torque with 7.3. But you know, now what I want to talk about is uh, I got a couple clips here I want to show you. Uh, one, when I got the car, got it, the motor thing put in it, do a little burnout, and I put that right here. That right here. All right, so, and the next clip is a little, not a burnout clip, but this one's a bit different, and I'm sure you'll notice it right off. I'll put it right here. You have right here. All right, so yeah, y you see, uh, you, that, that is true. It is all-wheel drive uh, Civic. Um, now I've come to just to notice that just about any car can be changed to all-wheel drive in this game. Uh, I got that the idea from uh, I think the YouTuber's name is Black Panther. I think it is who showed how to do this um, the car is still 400 plus and uh, basically what you do is all I've done was I put a rally suspension here and a rally differential and now let's go uh, mess around a little bit Okay, here we here's a little burnout. Now the Civic Type R here um, is a pretty quick car anyway. Uh, I might see how it works out with the newer Type R. But a friend of mine had this car uh, before and uh, it was pretty quick. I'm not sure. I think it might have lost a little bit of speed uh, with doing this whole all-wheel drive thing. But I think it definitely gained some uh, off-the-line speed. So I'm going to take it and just... Uh, Drive it through Columbia. See if I can. How good I can do there. Uh, it'll have the handling of a uh, probably of all-wheel drive now. The handling will be a little different. So uh, let's. Uh, I'll see you guys when I get to Columbia. So here we are at Columbia. Uh, let me go ahead and run this race. Uh, so let's see how it does. Now this will be a dry run, no nitrous.
439.13. So the verdict is it's not, it's probably one of the slower cars I've driven that track. And that might be because it's, I said to have the all wheel drive set up on it. Uh, that could be it. But it handles better than it would, would in a fr as, as a front wheel drive. Um, so take that with with you how you will. Uh, I do kind of like the idea that it's all wheel drive just because of the uniqueness. So, uh, yeah, uh, that's really all I got for the video. I just wanted to show off the car a little bit. And uh, I showed you how you achieve that uh, with just a couple parts. And, uh, well, I mean, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a little something. Uh, had a little fun watching it. Uh, now you can see how it handles uh, and roughly the speed of it and everything. So you can make a decision whether you would like to uh, do the same. And until next, or if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe if you enjoy the content. Uh, and uh, don't forget to hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified of future uploads. Until next time, have a blessed day.